Welcome back to the training videos for the sesh social review theme. <coughs> In that video I'm going to show you how to customize it for your needs. On the left hand side you can see here the menu social review theme. Just click on that one and then you will be redirected to its settings page. And we are going to start with the general options. The first one is you can upload a custom favicon this will be shown on the browser tab and it needs to be a 16 pixel by 16 pixel dot ico image if you don't have one just follow this link and you can create one from your logo i already created one going to select that as you can see it's a dot ico image going to upload and the same you can do for Apple Touch icon that means that for social devices such as iPhones and smartphones and tablets and if visitors are going to bookmark your site on their mobile device it will add an icon to their device when you uploaded one here <coughs> and the next one is the copyright so you can enter custom copyright information here you don't need to add the the copyright sign or the year this will be added automatically from the team and if you have Google Analytics or any other tracking code just paste copy and paste that into this field going to save changes and then we're going to reload it and then just check you see the copyright information has been updated it automatically adds the sign copyright sign and the year and it added to 2008 because I uploaded some um, default WordPress content and this started at 2008 so it will automatically take the year of the first post you published until the current year you're in right now and so you never have to think about updating this copyright information it will be done automatically for you then we go to the header header section here we have a marketing bar this is for a desktop this means for computers or laptops you can turn it on you can enter any information you want into the editor here you also can make links for example turn it on <coughs> if you want to open it in a new window click and add links and then you have a link here you also can change the color for the bar and after you have customized that I'm going to save changes click on update and now you can see we have the marketing bar here at the top including the link the same you can have for mobile devices just turn that on if you want to display one on mobile devices and then you can enter custom content for the marketing bar for the mobile devices as well as customize the color for them um, a lo custom logo just upload a logo I have prepared that here so we have a logo and then social icons we also can display social icons for different social networks and as soon as you enter the URL to your profile or to your fan page then it will also display the icon I have prepared here some so I'm going to use Facebook I'm going to use Google Plus Twitter and also 
YouTube. So, just saving that changes so I can show you how it looks like. For every icon you enter the URL, it will show up here at the top. Then search form you can turn it off if you don't want to display it within the header just turn it off and it will disappear from there and you also have the ability to upload a banner an advertising banner this banner can be it will be shown here instead of the social icons and the search form you can up turn it on then upload an image and it should be the maximum width of the image should be 475 pixels so I have here a banner I'm going to add the link and save the changes then reload and now you can see we have the banner with the link to it <coughs> okay these are the general and header settings and in the next video we are going over the home and slider settings so I will show you how to customize the home page